Good morning to all of you. Welcome to Legal Matters by Sai Babu Sankara, Jurisprudence Class. So please remember, <coughs> now in this video we are going to discuss uh, the classification of the laws. Classification of the laws. How the laws can be classified. In the next video I am going to discuss the kinds of laws. This uh, class is only just exclusively for the classification. So main classification is Indian law, international law. That is local law, international law. Uh, that is uh, municipal law or international law. Basic uh, classification. So whatever law is permitted by the Indian government or any states, uh, it is called uh, as uh, the so-called state law or the national law or the local law. Suppose if there is any dispute between one country other country, you all know that is uh, international law or public international law. This international law can be divided into two parts that is public international law and a private international law. What is public international law? Public international law comes into force when there is a, a dispute between one country with that of another. Then what is private international law? Same when there is a dispute between one company of India, the other company of some other country and if the agreement rules and the so called conditions they related to international standards then the private international law will take place. You may be knowing for that the arbitration center of the International Court of Justice is there. The other, the appellate authority is there in uh, Singapore. I have told you the case of uh, future retail company that is Kishore Biana Big Bazaar versus Amazon. Yes, the appellate court in Singapore they have given a stay order and uh, the matter is pending in the Honorable Supreme Court of India also. It is a dispute between uh, Jeff Bebos and Kishore Biani on one side and actually Kishore Biani has signed an agreement with uh, our reliance uh, Mukesh Ambani also that this bit is going on. That is private international law. So public international law and private international law. Now you can just forget that international law part. Now coming to our national law or state law. It is also public law and private law. So the public law you all know what are public law? Constitutional law. So we all know that constitution is the mother of all laws, constitutional law, constitutional morality, constitutional principles, constitutional uh, philosophy, all these things you will be learned through the constitutional law. You all know that if any law is to be made by the uh, states or by the union, it should be in consonance with our constitution. If it is against to the constitution, the law will not see the light of the day. So, this is Rajanga and Rajanga Vidhana and Lobadi Vundalno. First, public law. Second is administrative law, not only the constitutional law. Second, public administrative law. Yes, administration, authority, they have to be given certain position by delegating the position. For example, you collector a rookie, suppose you have to get permission from the So, you have to get permission from the collector. Collector is the administrative authority. So, that administrative law make a separate chapter. Then criminal law. So what is a crime? You all know Indian penal code. These are all the public laws. Constitutional law, administrative law, as well as the criminal law. They are all public laws. Then what are private laws? Private laws are law of persons or law of property. Law of property can be subdivided as a law of contracts. You know, it is only between persons or groups of persons. And quasi contracts, you know, unjust enrichment. I told you, unjust enrichment, quasi, even though it is not appearing to be, a, it is not a, a contract in legal terms, but it appears you have to act like as though it is a contract. And law of torts, it is also, please remember, relating to property, law of torts will be there if somebody damages your property, you can claim damages. Then, Law of obligations, you can call it as the law of contracts or the law of obligations. And when there is a conflict of laws, so that is also private law because you can go to conflict resolution method. What is that? You can go to the arbitration, ADR, Alternative Dispute Resolution System. That is section 18 of the CPC clearly says the Alternative Dispute Resolution System or the Arbitration Conciliation Act where arbitration is allowed, mediation is allowed, conciliation is allowed and also 
as per the Legal Citizenality Act, then look at all consequences. So conflict of laws and conflict of resolution can be added by this. So these are briefly the position of the laws. So public international law means it is a body of rules that govern the conduct and relationship of states with each other. Private international law means rules and the principles having foreign elements involved. Then, so as regards uh, this uh, constitutional law, so how a state should be there, what is the structure of the government, all these things, the doctrine of separation of powers. Then administrative law, the powers and functions of the administration, then methods by which the powers are to be controlled. Then criminal law, of course, the defines principles and uh, prescribe the punishments for them. Private law, please remember, it regulates the uh, it regulates and governs the citizens uh, with one another. Of course, it is a great difficulty is there to define the private law. Anyway, this is simply the classification of law. I will give you the chart also after the video is over and you can uh, take a snip snapshot of the uh, snapshot of the so-called classification and uh, get yourself enriched with the classification of laws. Thank you very much.